So, the Q is confusing. Not a problem. Q mesh allows you to left click an edge and drag out new edges. If you drag out multiple edges close together, they will snap to each other. If you hold shift, you'll create a new floating face. If you hold control, you'll simply move the selected face forwards and backwards. And if you tap alt, you'll change the polygroup color of your extrusion. Edge targets a single edge. Edge loop complete targets the entire loop around the object. And edge loop partial does the same thing until it reaches a point that's only connected to three edges. Polygroup island only targets the edges around a particular color. So if we left click on a face that is colored in blue, only the blue edges will get Q-meshed. Same thing if we click on a green polygroup instead. And polyloop applies the Q-mesh to every face that is perpendicular to the edge that you clicked. Full step means when two edges get close to each other, they snap together in a single step. If you change it to half step, and we start to drag this edge close to another, you'll see the snap happens in two parts instead. One, two, one, two. And quarter step just means the snap happens in four parts instead of two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Straighten just means that you can smoothly left click drag your extrusion out. 15 degrees means it will snap every 15 degrees as you drag out. And custom allows you to manually control the pivot rotation. So if it's set to 45, it will snap at every 45 degrees as you drag. And supposedly this affects the strength of fusion detection, but when I change these settings, I honestly don't notice any difference in function. So I recommend just leave it on default. But if you know what it does, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.